Chan, I'm Natalie Turner, the Job Shop Manager within the Employability and Apprenticeship Directorate. My team and myself are here today to give you an overview of how you can gain employment at the University of Greenwich and the amazing additional benefits of this. We have two main schemes where you can get paid to work for the University. These are called the Student Ambassador Scheme and Job Shop. The main difference is that when you successfully become a Student Ambassador, you receive a zero hour contract to work for the university. You will then get informed of all the different opportunities and you can decide which shifts you would like to work according to your skills, your interests and availability. A job shop role will have a particular job title and you will be contracted to work for that position for a set number of hours a week for the duration of your contract. As my team manage the student ambassador scheme, we will be concentrating on this within our video today, but we will explain a little more about job shop roles towards the end, so please do listen out. At Greenwich, we employ over 350 ambassadors to support our staff across the university. The opportunities involve working with a variety of age groups, both on and off campus. Student ambassadors are the most powerful brand advocates. They are our role models and use their personal experience to support and advise prospective students on university life. I will now pass you over to my colleague Carol to explain what you can expect as a student ambassador. My name is Carol and I am one of the two job shop officers and I have been working within this team for a few years now, ever since graduating from the university where I was also a student ambassador myself. In my current role, I am responsible for sourcing, advertising and recruiting for vacancies, monitoring student ambassador hours, supervising student ambassadors at major events such as open days and more. So, what can you expect as a student ambassador? The pay is very competitive and also comes with a London waiting where applicable. That's for Greenwich and Avery Hill based shifts. It increases incrementally every year, therefore I won't provide the figure now. However, if you go on the How to Become a Student Ambassador Moodle page, you will see the current figures. As it is a zero hour contract with flexible shifts, rather than having annual leave, you will get your earned holiday pay together with your wage on your monthly pay slip. The student ambassador role is very flexible. As a student ambassador, you will receive emails with information about the different shifts available and you decide which roles you apply for by emailing a reply to the vacancy emails. If selected, you will then receive a confirmation email from us soon after. The roles you can work as a student ambassador can really vary. We have student ambassadors working with customer service, admin, finance, IT, student recruitment, outreach projects and more. You don't have to pick and stick to one of these things as a student ambassador. You can apply for different opportunities as they come around. You can work between 0 and 20 hours per week as a student ambassador. The exact number will vary depending on the sort of roles you work as a student ambassador. Some student ambassadors might have an ongoing opportunity that gives them 20 hours every week, while other student ambassadors might rely mainly on single ad hoc shifts that add up. You can work multiple different shifts as long as the total hours do not exceed 20 hours within a week. Aside from gaining experience and earning a pay slip, you also get to meet other student ambassadors. In addition to that, we also have student ambassador social events that are exclusive to the student ambassador community and a great opportunity to meet your fellow student ambassadors. Hi, I'm Sonali Sundashekar, also a job shop officer. Today I want to share how the student ambassador scheme can significantly boost your employability and help you secure that graduate job you're looking for. Employers look for individuals with experience and I understand that many of you might not have much yet. The Student Ambassador Scheme can help you gain the experience and skills that you would need by working in various roles within the university. Through the Student Ambassador Scheme, you can develop key skills that are highly valued in today's job market, such as customer service, communication, analytical skills, and many more. Not only will you acquire these skills, but you'll also have exclusive access to our employability services. This includes CV and cover letter reviews, updating LinkedIn, and one-on-one -on -one career advice sessions with our employability skills advisors. Our advisors have proven track record of helping student ambassadors secure roles in prestigious companies like Disney, Northern Trust, Ernst & Young, and many more by effectively highlighting their ambassador experience in job interviews, and you could be next. We also offer summer CPD workshops exclusively for our student ambassadors. These workshops cover various areas of interest, such as LinkedIn learning, finance management, interview and presentation skills, etc. Our support does not end when your tenure as a student ambassador does. We can serve as referees for your future job applications, and you can continue to use our employability service for up to two years after your graduation. I will now pass you over to my colleague who will explain how to become a student ambassador. 
Hello everyone, my name is Mansiba and I work as a job shop administrator within the job shop team and I'm here to guide you on how to become a student ambassador. Whether you are here to gain some experience for your graduate roles or you are here to learn some skills that you will need in your future or you are just passionate about helping others, this scheme offers the perfect opportunity for you to do that. So the first step to becoming a student ambassador is enrolling onto how to become a student ambassador Moodle page. Our main recruitment drive usually happens around September and October, which is the term one, and we usually have smaller recruitment drives throughout the year, which is usually limited to specific criteria or courses. So please make sure that you apply for it in your term one if you are able to do that. The Moodle page contains all the essential information that you might need to create an application and, and anything that you might want to know about how the scheme functions and everything else. You do not need any prior experience in order to become a student ambassador. All that we are looking for is you to have that zeal to help people become a positive ambassador for the university and that is all that is required from you. The application process is pretty straightforward. You'll have to answer a few questions, filling out all your details and answering a few questions like why would you like to become a student ambassador and how it helps you in contributing to the university. Once you are selected throughout the whole process, you will be invited to an assessment center. The assessment center is done for us to know you better through a various range of activities that you will be doing and it is also a very big chance for you to meet other student ambassadors or other your potential friends and us as well. Once you are selected, you will be given a training and induction on how to excel as a student ambassador, how the shifts are given out, how you should apply for a shift, how will you get paid. There is a timesheet process that you will have to follow in order to get paid. All this information will be given to you in the induction sessions. In summary, becoming a student ambassador is your chance to create a positive impact within the university and just develop the skills that you need for your graduate roles. So if you are interested, please make sure to apply for the scheme when it opens. My favourite part about being a student ambassador is both the social and working aspects of the role. In terms of social, I've been able to meet so many different ambassadors from all walks of life and in terms of the working aspects, I've been able to work in many different roles including offer holder events where I've been able to help prospective and current students. Student ambassador role is dynamic and it often involves a variety of roles which is aimed at representing the university positively. The role may often involve campus tours, meeting and greeting with the families, prospective students and their alumni during open days, offer holders days and providing valuable insight about the university. Some tasks may often involve administrative tasks such as handling inquiries via phone calls or email. The recruitment process is purely based on merit. I would advise anyone trying to apply to be a student ambassador not to miss any of the videos in the training given on the portal. Just be yourself at the interview. The interviewers know exactly what they're looking for and hopefully good luck. My experience as a student ambassador has equipped me with valuable skills like public speaking, and international communication, which have allowed me to secure a competitive placement in one of the biggest pharmaceutical companies in the UK. There are over 300 different roles within the job shop team, including digital captioning and accessibility assistance, IT service desk analysts, student demonstrators, and student administrators. These require a specific set of skills which you are likely to have from your course and provides you with the opportunity to further develop such skills within a professional business environment. The main benefit of getting a job shop contract is that you will have guaranteed weekly hours on a fixed term contract. This is a great financial opportunity as well as experience in getting to know a team within the university, being able to work on specific projects to help skills relevant to your future career goals and getting a great reference from your line manager is important. So that's it from our team today. Hope this short video has been useful. If you have any questions about the Student Ambassador Scheme, please get in touch with our team by emailing or visiting one of our offices. If you have any questions about JobShop, please email the People's Director at Team and they will be happy to help.